Hi, I'm Dr. Paul Hafner. Welcome to Sports Psych in a Minute, your weekly resource for insights and tips into the psychological side of equestrian sport. Knowledge is power. And that's really true in our riding as well as in many other things in life. A lot of times riders run into a difficulty. They run into roadblocks to progressing in their development of their skill, in the development and progression of training their horse. Maybe they run into issues or problems with fear or anxiety. Often when we think about gathering or expanding our knowledge, immediately we think about getting more lessons, seeking out help from a trainer or instructor, participating in more clinics. And absolutely, those are all really positive things and things that we need to do. But one of the things that I want to remind people is that on, a, on some level, it's equally important for us to take responsibility for growing and nurturing our own base of knowledge. To look beyond what we get in a lesson or series of lessons, to go beyond the small bits and pieces of techniques that we might pick up in a clinic, to uh, look at and to challenge ourselves to understand the what and the why and the how on a much deeper level. So here's my challenge for you for the week. If you're working with a trainer, no matter what your discipline, ask them what they think is the most valuable book that they've read in helping them understand horsemanship, riding, or competing in that discipline. And do yourself a favor, grab a copy and read it. This has been Sports Psych in a Minute, and I'll see you next week.